Hey everyone, Joe Crump. Um, this next question is from John Dowling. John says, uh, I'm in a high-end small market uh, in Martha's Vineyard, uh, where many of the sales are over a million dollars and are funded with cash from trust funds. Ooh. Uh, thus, I need help in that type of market. I don't seem to be able to make a dent as an investor. One thing you have to look at, John, and, and uh, uh, you, ha you have to look at the fact that there's a lot of people that are making money in real estate in Martha's Vineyard right now. And you've got to figure out how can you make money in that same market. If they're making millions of dollars, how can you make money in that market as well? To say that a, a particular market, and I hear this a lot, to say that a particular market doesn't work is absolutely insane. There's people making money in every market all over the country. Now, specific types of, uh, uh, specific methods uh, may work better in some areas than others, and you've got to find the, the way that's going to work best for you in your market. The Ferret method works very well in markets like this. It, it can work for you. Uh, buying these properties on terms can work for you. You have to learn how to talk to these people, and you have to learn not to be intimidated by people that have a lot of money. And I think it really comes down to that. Uh, you, you, most people out there, if they if they live in a house that's worth two hundred thousand dollars, they're going to be intimidated by somebody who lives in a house that's worth a million, because they think that that uh, because of the fact these people have more money, that somehow uh, it's a caste system, and they think that they're somehow they're they're better than them. Even they even though they may know that logically that's not true, they still feel intimidated by people that have that uh, that are in that situation. So don't be intimidated. Go use the techniques that I've taught you. And uh, when you have specific problems that you're, you're, you're running up against, let me know. But I think the, the, the thing that you need to practice on is talking to the sellers, uh, learning how to, to speak persuasively to them, and use the, the audios that we've given you uh, that, that I did with Jim and with Ozum and the push-button method. Uh, that's a good, good way to start in this process. But good luck to you. Take care.